Hi guys, I'm Chris. It's great to see you guys again, and I hope you're excited for today as I am. I was asked to do a website review, and I did not know going in what the website was going to be. All I knew was that it was Unis Honest related, so I was, you know, expecting something kind of funny, and that it would, well, I knew that it was going to be a surprise. Everybody was very secretive about it, which is always what you want when you're doing a video. You want the least amount of detail possible. You want to go in blind. Who needs information? Transparency is for the weak. So Unis Honest is dead. It is dead and gone. And when it disappeared, it took basically all of the information that it had with it. So Reddit pages, some Tumblr pages, Instagrams. I think even an official wiki went offline, but don't quote me on that. But on the internet, there yet remains one last bastion of Unis Honest knowledge. And that is the website that I have been asked to review today. It is the... <laughs> Radiance, you absolute scoundrel. It is the Unis Honest IMDB page. So, prior to me learning that it was IMDB, I wrote down a list of like what I considered to be good, um, essentially the uh, three keys of <laughs> website design. And I, because, you know, I'm an art student, I'm a graphic design person, I've made a website or two in my time, and they are, uh, UI, visuals, and interactivity. I was like, yeah, these are reasonable things to rate a website on. And now I'm like, am I rating the entirety of IMDB? Who am I? Am I qualified for this? I don't know. My degree is not in websites. But, whatever. I'm qualified enough to make a YouTube video and that's all that matters. So let's get started. So I did not actually have the web page pulled up, so I sure do hope I've got the right one. Uh, so I just did a Google search because Google apparently owns my soul on Unis Honest IMDB. So I'm going to go out on a limb and assume this first result here is the right one. Oh, there's a new version of the page. Ooh. Already? Oh no, there's so many pop-ups. Uh, already this is like taking it down for me. So many ads, so many pop-ups, there's so much going on. I spend a lot of time on IMDb as a general rule because I love horror movies, um, but I'm also very anxious, so I need to look up the plots of my horror movies before I watch them, so I know whether to be surprised or not. I'm that person, I'm sorry. If you've ever gone to a movie with me, then I apologize. So I kind of... Let's just look at the website, the original one, and then we'll take a little sneak peek at the new version of the page. So, already an ad for Prime Video. That's a negative point in my book. F***ing, I'll write it down even. Oh no, are we allowed to swear? IMDB Pro? I think if I click that, it'll try and make me subscribe, which is the last thing I want in the world. I can't think of anything I'd like less than to subscribe to a service right now. Um, 9.4 out of 10. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna rate it. I should have seen this coming. Let's see, they've got the standard little logo, the hourglass. Just iconic imagery here with the two skulls. Yeah, 10 out of 10 skulls. These, uh, this setup here. There's the episode guide. 368. How many days are in a year? Are there more? Is it 365 days? TV 14, reality TV, 
I don't know if it counts as reality TV. I guess it's close enough. And the TV series obviously went 2019 to 2020. November to November. Sort of an odd time to start it. Right, a series in which Markiplier and Ethan from Crank Game Plays embark on a year-long journey only for it to be completely deleted in a year. This is a terrible description. Not because it's necessarily wrong, I just... There's a general thing that you want to do with your descriptions where, like, parallelism. So it should be Mark from Markiplier and Ethan from Crank Game Plays, not Markiplier and Ethan from Crank Game Plays. Or, you know, the sort of standard <sighs> situation. What am I? I need an Adderall or something. ADHD brain is kicking in today. All right, all right. Stars? Mark Fishbach, Ethan Nestor, Chica Fishbach. Oh, she's got her last name. Okay, 20 out of 10 for including the blog. Very important. It's got some pretty good popularity. It's got some 27 user reviews. It's got one season, obviously. Oh, they've got the trailer up, which is interesting. Oh, there's a lot of photos here. Series cast summary, Mark Fishbach starring himself, and then Ethan Nestor starring himself. But they don't have a picture for Ethan. So sad. Let me see the full cast, actually. Let's see if they've got Amy on here. Yeah! Mark Fishbach, Ethan Nestor, Chica Fishbach, Amy Nelson, associate of Mark. Excuse me. She is more than an associate. She is an icon and very good videographer. And I assume she edited a lot of the videos as well. Only should have been 12 episodes. Okay, Sunak, Alex. Oh right, Sean was in a couple of these. Love that. Oh right, oh, James Charles was in two of them? No, I guess that makes sense. Abigail Hunt, Lixian, Dave Keep, Lauren Erickson. Oh, the mine instructor. Very cool. I don't know if this is- this is definitely not everybody that's participated in episodes, but it's probably everybody who's at least tangentially related to IMDb. Yeah, series cinematography by Amy Nelson, series film editing by Lixi and Mark, Amy, and Ethan. Oh, they actually show you how many episodes each of them did. Or at least based on how much people know. Uh, <laughs> I- I may be an art student, but even I know 28 plus 20 plus 19 plus 12 does not equal 368. Yeah, pretty cool. All the information seemed pretty easy to find. <laughs> I sure do like how Mark and Ethan only are credited for like seven episodes total. It looks like people started breaking it down, maybe, that's my assumption, and then they uh, sort of realized that it would be kind of an impossible task, especially once all the video descriptions were removed. So they just uh, sort of threw their hat into the ring and then walked away, is what I'm imagining here. Let's see, they've got her related content, date with Markiplier, all sorts of things. Oh! I didn't know that they counted YouTube channels as TV series. Do those count? I sort of assumed they were just on YouTube. Wow, crazy, I am learning so much today. Storyline, the series ended after only one year, Memento Mori, year-long life of Unis Anis, as presented by Ethan, Crank Gameplays Nestor, Mark Markiplier Fishbach, and Chica Good Girl Fishbach, where every day they do odd challenges. Yeah, this seems about right. A lot of tense changing here, though. We appreciate you, Normal, Maybe, and uh, Sifu. Taglines, what would you do if you only had a year left to live? Would you squander the time you were given, or would you make every second count? Oh, let's look at the plot keywords. This means nothing to me, but I just think they're kind of fun. All right, all right, all right. Memento Mori, YouTube channel. Non-fiction. YouTube. Thanks. Pretty good. Is this relevant? I think these are relevant. 
Um, I don't know if nonfiction is relevant. There's at least some element of fiction if we're getting into like the personas that were taken on, but whatever. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, who the parents guide. Good, good, moderate <laughs> sex and nudity. Yeah, that's about right. Any and all nudity is censored. Yeah, they're naked a couple of times, but covered up. Violence and gore mild. Yeah, most of the violence and gore was in the editing, honestly. Like, you know, it'd be near the end of the video and then... <laughs> okay, some is censored. Most commonly used is the F word. Oh no, not the f word. Ah, oh, no, I said it again. Yeah, profanity is inconsistent per episode. Alcohol, drugs, and smoking. There is none of this. Though a couple of episodes focus around creating wine, occasional drug jokes, frightening and intense scenes. Yeah, I mean... Not that frightening, really. Though again, some of the editing is sometimes a little abrupt. Oh, the parents guide may give away important plot points. I guess if you haven't seen Unis Honest and now never will, don't continue watching. Haha, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> um, <laughs> violence and gore. Oh right, yeah, the sex toys. Ha. Huh? Mark breaks his nose multiple times. Mark punches Ethan. Mark and Ethan frequently die, but like, you know, not realistically, just a little bit of like, you know, like a, like this level of realism. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to read out the frightening and intense scenes here because they're just... Change in video imagery color to a mix of black and red. Jokes of death. He who is spotted multiple times. Mark is attacked by the <gasps> Gungoozler. Characters such as He who, the Gungoozler, Melon Man, and the Murmur may be slightly disturbing. One episode revolves around Mark and Ethan, demonstrating how they would murder each other. I just. I adore the fact that just He who being spotted counts as a frightening and intense scene. I guess just by definition, He who is. Uh, he who is a content warning in and of himself. Like content warning drugs, content warning swearing, content warning nudity, content warning he who. I think IMDb has got it. Like, uh, no, I said again. Uh, hacking, it's, it's 10 out of 20. No, wait, 20 out of 10. <sighs> this is why I'm not a math major. All right, all right. Yeah, TV 14 seems reasonable. I've watched some episodes with. God, how old was he at the time? Minus three. Minus three. Yeah, I've watched these episodes with a 14 year old, my younger brother. So I think all's good. Yeah, this seems about right. All right, continuing to go back. I do wish that these pages, you know, loaded a tiny bit faster, but that's just the way that it be sometimes. Oh, they've got quotes. Some trivia. Connections. Oh, they've got all the soundtracks here too. User reviews. These idiots keep it funny and don't break character. Thank you, Super Jojo Bros. I love your name. Definitely worth the time investment. Or at least it was. Oh, they've got all the official sites. Um, yeah. <laughs> None of these are going to lead anywhere. These will all be dead pages. Maybe should update those to say defunct. All right, all right. Scooting back. Technical specs. Yeah, sound mixed stereo, color, color, 69 HD, all sorts of fun, fun stuff. I can't edit the page without signing in and I'm not gonna do that because I don't have an account. And I don't plan on having one because I'll forget that I have one. Oh, I guess Markiplier counts as the production company. Wow, this is so educational. Catch me quizzing somebody else on the server after this. You'll have to answer my trivia questions of death. For everyone you get wrong, vague consequences. For everyone that you get right, vague consequences, but this time they're positive consequences. User reviews. You know, 10 stars just feels like too much for me. Like, look at that. That's so many stars. You can't, nobody's going to count those. Just, just do five, just do five stars and then like do like the half star thing, just to make it clear how many stars there are. 
the human eyes are not meant to like make out that amount of small objects all right next to each other. Yeah, was this the content you wanted when you asked me to review the website? Is this what you want? Oh, there's, there's no frequently asked questions. I've got some questions. I'm not gonna share them, but I, maybe I don't have questions. Unisonis is Latin, it means one year in English. Yes, I knew that. Let's look at some of these quotes, though. Oranges are apples, natural predators. Love that. Never mind, there's only one quote. Oh, they don't include goofs? That would have been funny. All right, trivia? Maybe? At trivia. At trivia. No, yeah, this more or less makes sense. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I missed a day. Well, they didn't miss a day for me because it ended up three in the morning for me, but crazy. Airbnb experiences. All right, that's kind of cool, I guess. Let's just scroll through the photos tab and then I will give my overall rating on the website. All right, photos, 381 photos. The sheer scale, the sheer variation between the amount of quotes and the amount of photos is hilarious to me. Like, boy, these people were, do oh wait, no, are these just the uh, thumbnails? Yeah, I think this is mostly just the thumbnails. Maybe with like one or two screenshots. This looks like a screenshot. Yeah, that's a screenshot. That's a really good screenshot. Look at that Ethan face. Damn. Right, the Unis Honest Last Supper. I was like, what the hell is this? Awesome. Wonderful. Okay, what's the funniest photo in here? What what should we end this on? Oh, poopsie sparkle critters. That was funny. Let's just go here. Whoa, wait! Countries Australia, Canada, Germany, Italy, United States. Are they just including Italy because of the dance of Italy, or did the, were parts of this actually done in Italy? Who's Italian? Uh, of course, no offense to any Italian. Sorry. Sorry to whoever is German. I'm mostly German. No, I'm not. God, what am I? Alright, so let's rate these. In terms of UI, the ability to get around the website cleanly and efficiently, I'm going to rate it three out of five LaCroix cans because on one hand, everything's pretty clearly organized and it's pretty easy to find your way around, but going back and forth between the pages takes a lot of time and there's a lot of loading time and that can be kind of annoying. Also, scrolling all the way down to find everything sometimes makes it look like the whole website is a little bit disorganized. I know that IMDB is basically a wiki site though, so I'm not judging this as harshly as I could be. In terms of visuals, in general, I'm going to say two LaCroix cans out of five. Like, you know, they're functional, but there's no real like fun to it. It's okay, it's a website. Whatever. I just, I don't like that shade of yellow that they use for their logo. This is just a personal gripe of mine. Yellow can be good, but if you combine yellow and black, it makes the yellow look kind of dirty by definition. If it was like yellow and like some more charged color, like a really dark blue or something, that might be cool. In terms of interactivity, I guess just see my first one. There's not really a lot of like interactive elements per se, but I like the fact that uh, IMDb is laid out like a menu where you can just sort of click on different things and they will expand and you can see more detail and things like that. Though, sometimes I just want to see like a drop down instead of being taken to an entirely new page. Like with the taglines thing, there are only four taglines and I clicked on it expecting there to be more, but then it just took me to the same four taglines but on a separate page, which took like several seconds to load. Ugh, curse content. Overall, my experience on this website, I would say, is an 8 out of 10. I'd hold up 10 LaCroix cans, but I'm not that bad yet. Thanks for joining me for the Unis Honest IMDb website review. Again, my dude, my guy, why did you give me this website to review? <laughs> it's IMDb. That's how I've been doing my Twitter posts. I've been going to the IMDb page and just like 
copying and pasting what day it is. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep in mind, we were there. Memento nobis.